Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love in the month of September. We're going to look at recent past and present energies in love, as well as a little bit about the person you might be dealing with or will be dealing with in the future and potential outcome, possible outcome for the connection. Spirit Angels Guide messages guidance for scorpio let's see what messages spirit has for you scorpio regarding love and relationships in september what insight what guidance spirit do you have for scorpio regarding love and relationships all right scorpio let's start with the recent past spirit what are the recent past energies for Scorpio. Recent past energies, please. For Scorpio. Three of Cups. So maybe you met up with someone. Maybe you've been dating multiple people. Maybe you've been very social lately. Could have been a reunion between you and another person. Hanging out with friends, going out to parties or happy hours. What else for Scorpio? recent past energies really hoping it's not like an interference <laughs> recent past energies for scorpio spirit ten of pentacles interesting i'm getting like um whoever this is that you have met recently or whoever it is that you have in mind because some of you already have someone in mind maybe they're in your friend group maybe you work with them Maybe you see them in public places. I feel like you already think of a future with them. You see the potential for a long-term commitment. Maybe this is the person you see yourself with, you see a future with. But I feel like this is just thinking. The hangman is here, the nine of cups, exactly. It's like there's not a lot of action or communication per se it's more your viewpoint this is what you desire your wish granted would be to have a future with this particular person or you envision a future with someone um, that has certain characteristics or it's, it's like you already have someone in mind that you're thinking about Scorpio I'm really hoping that there's not a third party interference that you're dealing with someone because I feel, I mean, they could have a long-term commitment. Hopefully that's not the case because I feel like this hangman in that instance would be delays, things not moving, things are very stagnant. I'm hopeful that most of you are just envisioning a future with someone. What about the current energies for Scorpio in the love for the month of September spirit? What are the current energies for Scorpio, please? Wow, four of wands. Well, this looks great, Scorpio. I feel like this is having a happy home, a happy life. Um, some of you could have recently gotten married. Like this was a marriage that happened recently. Maybe you met someone at a wedding as well. But I feel like... Um, if you're single, I think there's definitely someone in your midst or someone you've been talking to that you see a future with or someone that you already have in mind that you see a future with. If you are recently married, I think you're very happy. I think it's a great connection. Four of Wands is like stability and peace, harmony in the home. What's the present energy for Scorpio in love spare? What's the present energy? going on for Scorpio in love oh I got two four of cups and the chariot okay so again I'm gonna go back to that first scenario I've been talking about the picturing of a future cancer energy with the chariot so some of you I feel like you already have someone in mind you're picturing a future with this person or you see potential with this person. Maybe this is the person you wanna be with or see yourself with, like I was saying, 
And it's almost like you just want things to move forward and maybe they're not. It's like things are not moving quickly enough for you. Things are not happening quickly enough for you, Scorpio, when it comes to love. Yeah. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. I really hope you're not dealing with someone married. that Or that there's already like a commitment that exists somewhere else. Um, Taurus energy here with the higher font. You know, it's weird because with the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, I think that the energy I'm picking up here is that the conversations you're having are not the conversations that bring you comfort. I feel like you might have worries here that someone's not being completely truthful or that someone's not ready to commit to you. It's like you're wondering what's going on, what's up. Do we have this future that I see for us? Do we actually have that in the cards? You know, like, is that really our future or is my mind kind of running away? Is my imagination kind of running wild here? Because I don't think you're truly, it, it's almost like maybe you've met someone, maybe a cancer, doesn't have to be, but it's like you've talked to someone or met someone or have someone in mind for this future. And it's like, where's my cup? Why isn't this moving forward? I see the path. Why don't we just go? Why don't we just move forward? Let's look at what's challenging or blocking this. What are the challenges or the blocks here for Scorpio? What are the challenges or the blocks for Scorpio? Challenges or blocks, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. The Six of Wands, okay. Maybe someone's not recognizing your worth. Maybe someone something is not successful. What are the challenges or blocks? For Scorpio, challenges or blocks, spirit. For Scorpio. Okay, so I, I feel like the challenge or the block that I'm seeing is that something could be, or, is, you know, it's like there's a potential here that's not being like. The potential is just not, I don't know, it's almost like I'm getting like. You're almost there, but not quite, right? Like, it's like. Someone could, that you, whoever this is that you're dealing with, Scorpio, because I'm spe speaking to a Scorpio that already have some, has someone in mind. You already have someone in your mind for your future. Um, I feel like maybe, you know, some of you might be dealing with someone that's not serious, doesn't want to be serious. Maybe someone has promised you a ring, promised you commitment, promised you this future, but I don't think they're ready or willing to deliver it. Yeah, it, you know, there's something going on here. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like maybe this already ended once before. Maybe there are problems. Maybe you're worried about this connection not having a future. It's like this is all you think about or that this is kind of like what's worrying you here. Because remember, these two cards, they look great, but these are challenges or blocks. So when I see cards like this in a challenger block position, I think these are actually blocked from you. There are challenges that prevent you from having this. Tell me more about this Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, please. Tell me more, Spirit. About the Six of Wands, okay. There's that King of Pentacles. I don't like him in this reading. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's a couple ways to interpret this. The star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. There's a few ways to interpret this King of Pentacles. For me as a reader, they always have something going on, are providing for someone. Sometimes they're already married or in a commitment. Um, business oriented, has money, stability, uh, material wealth, etc., etc., etc. So there's two scenarios that I see here. Either you're dealing with someone that already has responsibilities elsewhere and can't commit to you. Or they're presenting themselves as something that they're not, you know, maybe they're telling you that they're very serious about you and serious about where this is going. Um, 
but it's you you just don't see the the action behind that it's like those are just words right now you know some of you could be um in a long distance relationship and it's almost like you don't feel something progressing scorpio it's like where is this going Let's get some energy oracles out here. I'm going to use the uh, second edition of the Stellar Energy deck. This deck is not completely um, available or ready yet. Um, I'm still working on it. The design of the back of the card will change, so it's not going to look like this, but the front design will remain mainly the same, so that's why I'm using it now. What's the overall energy for Scorpio Spirit and this other person? What's the overall energy? in this connection what's the overall energy overall energy in this connection deep regret remorse guilt responsibility there's regret over past actions okay can i get one more what's the overall energy here Overall energy for Scorpio. Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Plant seeds now, watch them grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And then bottom of the deck, we have moving forward. So it's kind of this energy that we've already talked about. I feel like there's potential for abundance, right? For growth, for something to really come of this, for something beautiful to be created here. But at the same time, it's like, you need to move forward into that cycle. I don't feel like you're there yet. Restoring balance. Maybe there's some issues between you, some conflicts, some obstacles that you need to overcome together as a couple. Um, maybe someone has something to regret, some actions, some mistakes, you know, that they've made in the past that's kind of causing the, another person to kind of like be not really sure where this is going or what the future holds. I feel like you have to move past whatever is holding you back here. What else? I'm going to be um, using the Ever After Oracle deck, and this is available on my Etsy shop. It's linked down in the description box if you want to check it out. All right, what's the overall energy? Okay. Long ago, the past, history, memories. Okay, so I feel like this is a connection that has, I mean, your history is, I feel, long. I, I don't think this is like a really short connection. Maybe that's part of the problem. Let me know if this is resonating for you, Scorpio, in the comments. What's the overall energy here for Scorpio and this other person? Curse, bad luck, punishment, karma interesting some of you could be dealing with a karmic partner or one of you has had karmic lessons to learn that have affected this connection um, others of you I feel like a lot of time might have passed here and it's like where is where is all of the rewards for my patience is kind of what I'm picking up here you know, maybe you've been waiting a long time for something to happen, for something to pan out, and maybe it hasn't. And so it's almost like, is it ever going to happen? You know, am I supposed to wait longer or am I supposed to keep waiting? Let's look at this other person. What do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with in the future spirit? What do we need to know about this other person? The fool, taking risks, a leap of faith, wanting to have an adventure, um, travel light, start a new journey, a new beginning, a new start. Tell me more about this other person. I'm thinking of someone being free. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up more lightness from this card than new beginning, but we'll see. What else do we need to know about this other person? Wow, the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Again, I sense like there's a block here. There's an obstacle here, and it's coming from your person, I feel. I think you're ready to go. I think you're ready for this, Scorpio. I think they're the block. 
Either something's going on with them that's preventing them from having a new beginning or taking a risk or being free of something. Or they're undecided about something to do with you or this connection. Yeah, and it's kind of weird because the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Ace of Wands and then right behind that, the Eight of Cups. So I definitely get the sense this person needs to walk away from something or, he, or if you are in a long distance connection, you're supposed to kind of like bridge that gap, come together, no longer be apart. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Let me see if we can get some insight on this block. Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah, so there's like options, decisions. This person has, I feel like, a lot going on. And wow, the tower at the bottom of the deck. Maybe their decision is to have a tower in their life and it's not so easy for them. Maybe this decision would be life-changing for them. Some of you, this is someone that you're like, are they going to propose? Are we going to move in together? Are we going to, you know, have a family? It's a big decision, I feel. I think this person has to choose a path. Either choice, I feel, will cause a tower. Yeah, Eight of Swords. They're like conflicted. They don't know. They don't know which decision is the best. They don't know which way to go here. And I feel like they they feel guilty about this. Like they're not happy or proud of themselves for not being able to decide, right? Let's get a PS I love you for them. This deck is also available on my Etsy shop. I do love this deck. All right, tell me more about this person. What are their energies towards Scorpio? What are their energies? towards Scorpio other half so there's a very strong connection here they feel like you're their other half they might be your other half some of you this is someone like a fiance someone you're engaged to or someone you want to be engaged to or a relationship that should be there in that stage because I don't feel this is a short relationship tell me if that resonates for you Tell me more about this person's energies towards Scorpio. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Yeah, they're not ready. Whoever this is, they're not ready for what you need them to do, Scorpio. Even though we are apart, our souls are united at the bottom of the deck. So again, you could be apart by distance, apart by some other obstacle. Um, I feel like this is a very complicated situation. <laughs> so where is this all headed? What's the potential outcome here, Spirit? For Scorpio, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome here, possible outcome for Scorpio. Where is all of this headed? Seven of Pentacles and Judgment. Okay, Scorpio, I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not going to just sit here and pretend that I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. You are going to have to wait for this person. They're going to keep you waiting. And you're going to be, whatever you're feeling now, whatever you've been feeling in the recent past, the anxieties over the future, the uncertainty over the future, that's going to continue. Because I do feel... Like this person is holding back from making a decision. Now, I am going to take this to the extended so I can clarify this outcome because I want to know what, do, what else do we need to know that's going on here? I feel that the problem is that there's a tower looming. And it's like they just want you to be patient while they deal with, I don't know, it's, it's like they want you to be patient while they procrastinate. That's kind of what it feels like. I hope I'm wrong about that. But I feel like they're supposed to make a move. This person's supposed to make a move and they just haven't been able to do it. And in the extended, I'm also going to look at their intentions towards you, what's in their heart space, pull a couple more oracles, and then also look at what their next moves towards you specifically will be. 
Um, so if you'd like to join us in the extended, it's linked down in the description box. But what I see here in the possible outcome is I see you patiently waiting for them to make a big decision, for them to wake up to what they need to do. I, I feel like that's kind of the problem. The bottom of the deck is someone holding back, holding on. Their arms are not open to something new, the Four of Pentacles. You know, it's like, I feel like your person's just too afraid to really do this at this time. That could change in the future, but this is what I see. I know that this is a strong connection. Um, I know your souls are united. This could be a soulmate, but I feel like your person's just not ready right now. We'll see if that changes in the near future when I look at the extended um, energies there. Um, so I'll leave it here, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you haven't already, I would love to have you. If you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love, I go into all 78 cards of the tarot and how you can interpret them for love in your own readings at home with my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. And that's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping and is linked down below in the description box along with links to my Oracle decks. Thank you so much for watching once again and hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.